Dear friends, would you like to fly like Thor or change the time with Loki? Or you have only interest to watch on the movie like Interstellar? All of this significant for the term dimensional change. In this video, I will tell you what happened after death by dimensional change and how many dimensions are there. So get ready to experience the amazing world of 11 dimensions. I request you to watch this video till the end as this video is going to be more and more interesting as we proceed. I know most of you are aware of first 3 or 4 dimensions. The first 3 dimensions are dimensions of space that is length, width and height while the fourth dimension is the time dimension. You will find it interesting that we have control over the first three dimensions of space, which are length, width and height. It means we can freely move in space in forward, reverse, up and down directions. But we have no control over the fourth dimension, that is the time dimension. Even if we could fully control only the first four dimensions including the time dimension, we would become a person with supernatural powers because then it would be possible for us to travel freely not only in space but also in time in both directions. That is past and future as per our wish. So just imagine how powerful a person would be if he or she could control all the 11 dimensions. Believe me, that person will actually be called the God as he would have the potential to do the things that you cannot even imagine. So I think you are now ready to enter into the fascinating world of 11 dimensions. So let's discuss each dimension one by one. Zero Dimension Any object having zero dimension has no length, no width and no height. A point is an example of zeroth dimension as it has no length, no width and no height or depth. Now let's see what is the first dimension. Any object in first dimension has only one dimension that is the length. If we connect two points then we get a line having only one dimension. So a line is an example of first dimension having no width and no height but only the length dimension. Someone living in one dimensional universe will only be allowed to move in the forward and reverse directions. There will be no existence of anything like left or right for him. Now we will discuss the second dimension. Flat figures like a square or triangle are two-dimensional objects. These two-dimensional or 2D objects have non-zero area, but their volume is zero as there is no height. They have only two dimensions length and width. So these are known as two-dimensional or 2D objects. A person living in a two-dimensional space can only move on a plane. In other words, he or she can only move in forward, reverse and left-right directions, but not in up and down directions. So his life will be limited to a plane surface. Everything will be flat with zero height in such a universe. Some daily life examples of a two-dimensional world are screens of televisions and mobile phones, although they appear to be a three-dimensional world. But actually this world inside these devices is confined to a flat screen having no depth or height. Third Dimension If we add height or depth to a two-dimensional object, it becomes a three-dimensional, that is a 3D object. A three-dimensional or 3D object has non-zero volume. A cube or a sphere are geometrical examples of three-dimensional objects. We live in a three-dimensional world where we can move in any direction in space. As per our wish, 
we are free to move in forward, reverse, up and down directions. Fourth Dimension The Time The time is considered the fourth dimension. As I just told you that we live in a three-dimensional world where we are free to move in any direction in space but without the fourth dimension, that is the time dimension, no events can take place without time dimension. Nothing will change in this world. It is the time dimension that allows the objects to change their position and location in space. Without time, the whole universe will look like a snapshot forever as we are living in a three-dimensional world. So we have no control on the fourth dimension, the time we are forced to move only in the forward direction with time. But a person living in fourth dimension will be able to go in any direction in time like past or future. He will have control over the time dimension as he is a person of fourth dimensions. So these were the first four dimensions that can be perceived by humans. Now we are going to discuss higher dimensions that we cannot perceive, although they exist. So let's start with the fifth dimension. Fifth dimension. As I just told you that we cannot perceive dimensions that are higher than the fourth dimension because they exist on a subatomic level. These higher dimensions actually deal with the possibilities. But why we cannot perceive higher dimensions? Hey friends, if you love this topic, give a like now. Actually, these dimensions are curled in one themselves in a process known as compactification. But how these higher dimensions are imperceptible? Let me explain it by giving you a simple example. When we see a rope from a large distance, we only observe its one dimension, that is the length. But any insect moving on that rope will also see other dimensions of the rope. Like its thickness, it will also absorb the fine grooves and roughness and circumference of the rope that could not be seen by a distant observer. If a person were living in a world of five dimensions, then he would be able to play with time in different ways. He could move either in past or in future. It would also be possible for him to be present at different locations at the same time. He would be able to do many jobs or can have many hobbies at the same time. He could be a doctor, an engineer, a poet and anything else at the same time as he has full control over the time. Oh wait. Let me solve the questions of after death in between 6 to 11th dimensions. Please subscribe Top 7 Science if you don't miss the next part. I will discuss about that matter on the next part. So next day we will discuss about next 6 dimensions and get into the conclusions. If you want that next video, mention in the comment. So coming to that part with you tomorrow. Till then, bye bye.